really wasn't a fan of this movie. Was, there was no reason for there to be a second one. Plus, it was just bad. Like, just to me, anyway. All the characters in this movie... Kind of, like, cartoonish. And then... There's even a line, though, that I thought was kind of stupid. Where there's this one that, um... Drinks a science experiment so he can talk in, like, these full sentences. But they don't talk about that. They just talk about how he can talk, right? And they try and make a big deal because, you know, not a single other one of them have talked. Apparently. Even though multiple times in the movie the other ones say stuff. And then, um... They just looked really cartoonish and stupid in this movie. And, um... I just really couldn't get into this movie. The only character I liked in this movie was barely in it. And it was the guy from the first movie, Murray. He was pretty good. But next movie I'm watching is Blade. And I'm watching the whole trilogy as long as it stays on HBO long enough. So, you can look forward to that. But yeah, I really wasn't a fan of this movie. There's also the fact that... In most movies, people like... Make like this cliche overreaction to literally everything. So it was kind of unique that in this movie... That this guy literally comes home with a... Lipstick kiss on his cheek and... The wife kind of, you know, just... Brushes it off. And only when the movie's halfway over does she actually say anything. She's like, if we make this out of a live, you're in big trouble. And then, um... They have this weird thing. Where they actually have a girl gremlin in this movie. That's in love with a human. And at the end of the movie, she has a wedding dress on. And she's slowly coming up to the camera. Which is really weird. I guess it was kind of unique that like. Most of the gremlins were different in this movie. Their designs were different. And the fact that later you know. Um, they do. The whole experiment thing. One of them becomes a spider. One becomes like electric. One gets like bat wings. There's even a Batman Easter egg after that part. And the one from the first movie actually returns. The guy in the coat. But, you know, he just gets kicked and we never see him again. Yeah, that's about it for this movie, though. It just really wasn't good to me personally.